Check that out. 37 34 Washington. Six seconds left. We're in the motorhome because the whoop, University of Washington, look at that. That's pretty cool. Yay! Janet's over there. Alex is at his friend's tonight. They're not going to tie it up. They're going for a win. Hail Mary. Oh, UW wins. UW wins. That is Oregon's first loss at home in like 23 or 24 games, something like that. And Oregon is ranked number sixth, and Washington is ranked 25. Well done. You dub, dubs up, dubs up. She's trying it. What do you call it, though? Does it have a name? Tonka? Torone. Torone. So that's a plantain, jackfruit, sugar, and egg, uh, egg roll wrapping. Whatever. Tyrone. Tasty? Okay. Let's see. I'll go try one. Where did you bite? Let's see. Very good. I'm trying to think what that tastes like. It's like one of those fruit pies. Like you get some places. So here is the before. Janet got it done. Tried it and put it in there. That's the after. All right. So die hard cooking. What are these called? Toron. And it's plantain with, uh, what's the name of that wrap you put on there? Uh, spring roll. Spring roll wrap. So it's a plantain with spring roll wrap. And uh, gel fruit. And gel fruit. What was it called? Jong fruit. Jong fruit? That one that's real stinky, Jong. right? Jong fruit. Jackfruit, this thing says in jackfruit in jackfruit. Oh, okay. okay. We watch a lot of this. So today is Monday. It is the 14th of November 2022. We're halfway through November and 10 days away from Thanksgiving. And so we are back home and we have decided to not do the topo teep cam, something like that. It's another form of chemo, at least not yet. So right now we are back home. We did get fully into hospice, but we're still in the early few days. They did deliver uh, some beds, some oxygen, some walkers. Uh, so we've got a few things all uh, ready to go here. We are in the middle of a renovation, uh, so the, the house is not really serviceable right now. We're in the final stages of trying to get the cabinets in the kitchen and get a couple walls reframed for the master bathroom and getting everything here. So in the next uh, 
two weeks or so, we're trying hard to blitz that as much as we can, but we'll see. Um, <clears throat> so right now we are still fighting through blood clots in the, in the legs, particularly the left leg. And so we've increased our Eliquist uh, to uh, five milligrams a day on doctor's orders. And we're kind of keeping an eye on the bleeding. So if she starts to bleed again, then we'll back off on that. But the goal is to try to get the blood clots cleared out. Maybe that will give her a little more strength and mobility, but definitely should help the comfort a little bit. Well, all right, all right, all right. Today is Tuesday. It is the 15th of November, 2022, and it is about 10 a.m., 10 hundred hours, and we are in Central Time. We're back in Alabama. So the last video left off where we were on our way back to Alabama after we left, uh, after we were discharged from the Augusta University Medical Center. So we did opt to move into hospice and uh, the hospice company that we're using here in the Huntsville area is Kindred Hospice. And so far, uh, they seem to be all over it. They seem to be crushing, you know, doing the, the right kinds of stuff. Uh, communication seems to be good. The attention to detail seems to be uh, very well. Um, it seems like they need to get rolled up and get everybody synchronized on the same sheet of music. but. I think doing these little videos and stuff kind of helps us also stay uh, on a flat plane and having the same message to each provider or each touch point that we get with uh, these folks. So, so far they have sent out the, the nurses um, that have linked us up with someone after hours. So we met the uh, on-call nurses over the weekend. They came and visited us and basically just did a meet and greet recon. Uh, the social worker stopped by yesterday and helped us get linked in with some lawyers so we can finish up the the to get everything legalized notarized all that type of thing as far as uh, the will what's going to happen with Alex what's going to happen with uh, all of the things according to Janet's wishes uh, the medical equipment folks showed up over the weekend and they uh, were leaning forward with getting oxygen prepared, atomizers, uh, the bed, uh, we've got all the walkers, that we got that stuff and that's been useful here inside the motorhome. Uh, there's a wheelchair out there so if we need to go somewhere. Uh, so far I think the probably the most useful is what maybe the social worker yeah. it's nice to have the nurses backing us up though so they come twice a week or they're on call so we have this posted up right here so if something happens we've got them all programmed in she's got her apple watch so she can call siri the new apple watch has a fall mechanism built into it so if she falls theoretically it's going to call somebody to help if she can't get up uh, the grief counselors have already reached out. I talked with one yesterday, and that's going to be that's going to be a helpful a helpful thing for me, I think, and uh, to get Alex uh, leaning forward towards you know having all that type of thing. We just got calls uh, last night and this morning about the uh, chaplains coming out. Uh, so I think I feel like we have a ton of support. Maybe starting to lean on the side of maybe. A, <laughs> almost too much but I guess maybe you can't have too much we do have an awful lot going on here uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pause this so I can start another message here because these get too long we uh, thank thanks to the visit of the nurse we we're able to kind of switch around some of the treatments one of the biggest ones is actually doubling the Eliquist because this left leg here has uh, a clot in it and it's pretty swollen she does have a filter to help out so if the clot does head up towards the the lung or the brain or the heart 
hopefully that filter will do its job and stop it before it moves through. So it's a little frustrating because it's been about, it started on our trip down to Augusta is when we first started noticing a little bit of swelling. We haven't been able to manage that for the two weeks now. So the 15th, so technically we got there on, on Halloween, the 31st of October, today's the 15th. So two weeks and a day, somewhere along there. That's probably the most uncomfortable thing. Uh, still having issues with uh, constipation or bowel movements, so we're working hard to keep that uh, to keep that on rhythm, and we're working hard to keep uh, her eating stuff so that, that helps uh, move that stuff through the uh, through her system. Whew, so on top of all of that, we're also going through a home renovation. That's why we're out here in the motorhome. It was a little bit uh, frustrating and disappointing that uh, all that time when we were down in Augusta, for whatever reason, the workers didn't want to come. And so we that just paused. So right now I've got the kitchen cabinets, I've got the faucets. Uh, today finally is the first day that it, well, I haven't been back out there, but I saw a truck out there that may indicate that the carpenters finally showed up the electricians have been here off and on. So I think this house uh, is pretty complicated on how they did the wiring. One of the electricians had said that either this house was wired by a very old electrician or they were trained by a very old electrician. They said the wiring is safe. It's just not stuff that modern electricians are used to seeing. So I am in the process of trying to reroute the wires, really the ones that we can, get them into the electrical boxes so that they're dress right dress and they're labeled and when you need to turn something off in X bedroom, you can run over there and hit X breaker and actually be confident that, the, uh, that it turns off that way. I think the biggest thing that some of those were doing is they were wired in some kind of a weird series and uh, it's a little bit challenging to figure out, especially at the, at the breakers. Um, shoot, let's see. Uh, it's a rainy day here, so managing the dogs is a little bit of a challenge. Uh, if they're here in the motorhome, they're really stinky. Uh, if they're out in the house, they're still stinky. Uh, but now they're, they're anxious because of all the strange people in the house. So I've got the little terrorist dog, Scout's in here. I just gave him a bath and I think actually he gave me more of a bath. Uh, so we both had a bath, but he's a little cleaner. Uh, but he's he's wild with these uh, with visitors and stuff like that. Kubota sounds scary, but he's the he's the lover dog, and Sissy just doesn't care as long as she has a bed. So that's probably a good segue because part of the renovation why I'm so motivated to try to get the the house done is one of the things about that I've always loved about Janet when I when I met her and coming from where she came from in the southern part of the Philippines what was the name of that Davao Davao area is one of the things that she said all she really wanted when she came here to the US was a bed and a bathroom and I gotta love that spirit you know she's such a trooper she's she's tough She's taking this even better than, than I am, that's for sure. So extremely motivated to get a bed and a bathroom uh, in place uh, so that we can check that block and get that moving forward. So trying hard to do our best with that, but I guess if we don't get there, we have, we have this one out here. Uh, let's see. Hi, what else should we give an update here? So. I know there's a lot of friends and family and there's a ton of support. So these videos are kind of helpful to keep everybody kind of on the same sheet of music. We're getting so many calls and texts that between the hospice and the doctors and the home renovation and actual job, I haven't been working uh, with Earth Barbers uh, since I've been doing this. And I, I'm kind of on hold to help out with the 20 acre job uh, in Albertville around here um, I haven't gone to do any of the other uh, jobs but just trying to get everything kind of under control so here it is Tuesday the 15th of November and uh, I'm waiting for my muchachos to show up 
and it is a rainy day here in Alabama but I've got her up she's tried to go to the bathroom uh, we are working on formalizing the will and some of this other uh, legal stuff for Alex and things like that and uh, I will go walk through what we're trying to get renovated here so this is the other side but the weird thing about this room is there is no actual loft. There is like a closet up there. This area doesn't actually have a loft. So that was actually my goal and partly why I kept stalling to find somebody to reframe that loft up there to make a couple rooms that goes the whole length of the house. This isn't quite right now. The plan is to remove those cabinets around the, at least on each one on each side of the window to make that a little bigger. I think I'll put open shelves there, but I want to have that cool farmhouse sink here. And uh, let's see. And this is the side. And uh, to the right there, we're going to add a cabinet because this plan has where that door is. So I'm going to add another cabinet to that side and wall all of this off. So that's the plan for this side. And then there is kind of a shot of what it might look like with the island this that. area i think i'm excited about because we struggled since we took away that space for the tub of where to put a shower without making this feel so cramped up again so originally i was got a pretty fancy tub and it was just going to go there and it's going to be a big window there much bigger than that one but we struggled with where to put the shower and so this is the place where the shower used to be so now what we'll do is we'll expand this open so we'll put that that's a load bearing wall there so we're gonna uh frame that up and open this up some it would probably be okay if this has a little mini wall here i have to move that outlet because now the plan is to put the tub right here put the drain here in the center and then i haven't decided if i put the shower up on this side so it splashes back on this wall or to put it here because what I really don't want to do is I want to leave that open if I can or maybe just put a curtain I don't really want to put big heavy glass doors something else that's hard to clean so that that wall will be closed off and so here is the master bedroom so like I said that door will be closed off the door will go right here in the center so we can move stuff that way there is a room up there eventually I would like to put a spiral staircase in that corner to go up to that that room could be like an office i don't think it's big or heavy enough for a gym but this used to be the closet entry and this will be closed off as well shoot i can't think of anything else right now i guess if something else comes up we'll we'll bring it up but uh thanks everybody thanks for all the well wishes and take care bye bye oh yeah i gotta do this for reagan one day i'll get better at it Dubs up for uh, Washington. We watched their game over the weekend. I'll put some clips in that. But that was pretty exciting to see Washington defeat number six Oregon right there at the end. So congrats to all the Washington fans out there. We're still U of U fans here. But whenever uh, Washington, for Reagan's sake, go dogs. Come here.